All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm doing something a little different. I'm shooting this in a different profile. I'm doing the true neutral Rec. 709 profile. Instead of the EOS, EOSR, EOS original cinema. So hopefully this looks better. Uh, I'm taking some tips from Matty Apoya to see if this works better for me. I'm also using two big soft boxes instead of like a soft box and uh, two LED lights. So hopefully this looks better for you, or at least from, from your standpoint anyways. So welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be doing a quick video on the new firmware update for the Mix Pre 3 Series 2 is what I have and version 6.00. Up until now, by the way, I bought this with my own money. Um, love the Mix Pre 3 Series 2. Don't, don't get me wrong. Love this dang thing. Um, it records well. It does everything well. My biggest complaint was you couldn't do 32-bit float as a USB interface, as an audio interface. It could do 32-bit float as a standalone recorder with no problems. But up until 6.00, it could only do 24-bit audio recording as a USB interface. But now, with version 6, we got 32-bit float all around. So as a standalone recorder or as a USB audio interface, which is great. And I'm glad they came out with that. That was my one little complaint about the Mix Pre, but they have since remedied that complaint and now I have zero complaints about the Mix Pre 3 except for Mary, maybe the power management uh, but even then I still can't complain this thing is just great it does everything I wanted to do and then some um, it also does good things you know like mix, mix assist you know so you can mix channels as you're recording multiple mics so this thing is just all around fantastic so in case you don't know how to do this I'm just going to step you through it real quick on how to update the Mix Pre from version 5.01 to 6.00. And it's a quick and painless process. So we're just going to walk through it real quick and, uh, you know, teach you to see if, if you don't know how to do it. It's very straightforward and very simple. So stand by and uh, let me head over to the computer here. Thanks. All right, now that we're over the computer, we went over to the Sound Devices website at sounddevices.com. And we're just going to over here, going to go over here and go to support, downloads. And from here, we're going to pick our product. In this case, it's the Mix Pre 3 Mark II and view the downloads. Here is version 6.00, where you can see the new 32-bit float USB audio streaming. And of course you need Catalina for this to work, but this is very cool. And then as you can see below where some additional things were fixed. So let's go ahead and download this. Here you put in your email that you use when you registered your device. I'm just gonna put in a test at test.com and then you'll get a email to your whatever you're using for your email application, and you can click on and download the firmware. So here you put in your first and last name in your country, and then from there, you'll get the email. So now we can go over here to our download. All right, so after we downloaded the file and we unzipped it or uncompressed, I just made this bigger so it was easier to see. We want this Mix Pre 600 PRG file, and you can either go to your Mix Pre and do file transfer so it can open up your Mix Pre and you can just drag and drop this into the root directory, or you can just use some sort of adapter, you, you know, a, a SD adapter and put it on that way. So probably the easiest thing is just hit file transfer on your Mix Pre, open it up as a device or a drive, and then just put that in the root directory. So we'll go over to the camera and I'll show you how to do that as well. And we'll go to the Mix Pre and we're gonna do this from beginning to end. So stand by and uh, we'll move over. Thanks. All right, now that we're back on the Mix Pre 3 Mark II, let's go ahead and format the SD card. So we're gonna go to the second menu, hit SD card, edit and format. And yes, we're sure we want to format the card. 
Okay. And then let's go back over to the system and open this up for file transfer. And that'll bring up a drive on our system. All right, so I went ahead and copied that into the MixPre 3 SD card into the root directory, which was the MixPre 6.00.prg file. So let's go ahead and close this and get out of it. i uh, got to close it on the computer first. I gotta close it on the mix pre three. Go back to the main menu. All right, so let's go ahead and update this thing. So if we go over here to system and go over here to the third menu of the system menu, let's hit update firmware. Would you like to update your firmware? I sure would. Hit OK. Are you sure? Yep. And we're off to the races. I have not sped anything up, just so you know. And right now it's just checking the file itself. And now it's going up and doing the firmware update itself. This is a pretty quick process. It's only going to take a minute or two. And that's pretty much it. It's done. So let's see if we have version 6 on here. Let the integrity go. Yep, it finished. Let it restart. Let's see if it comes up with version 6.00. And it does. We're good to go. Now we should be able to use our MixPre 3 Mark II as a 32-bit float USB audio interface. Yeah. That's it, pretty simple. I just wanted to show you what to do on your Mac. So we just go over here to the audio MIDI setup and I'm selected the Mix Pre 3. And you see here, we can select 32-bit float. And that's basically all you gotta do. Go to the input, you can select 32-bit or you can go to output and select 32-bit. So that's basically all you do to set it up. Um, that's just a basic overview. I put a link in a description for a sound devices video that explains this in a lot better detail and greater detail. If you need to know how to set up your Mac OS to accept 32-bit float as your USB audio interface. So I just wanted to point that out real quick. So. Stand by and uh, let me get out of this, thanks. All right, everybody. So now that we're back, hopefully you enjoyed this quick little tutorial on how to update the firmware of the Mix Pre series. Hopefully you learned a little bit or taught you a little bit. Um, if not, hopefully it was enjoyable and entertaining. Um, if not, uh, sorry, I wasted your time. Um, but other than that, please keep shooting, keep, please, please making videos. And I hope you enjoy these type of tutorials. If not, let me know down in the comments. You know, maybe I'll switch over to something else. I still got to get to the audio series that I haven't done. The other audio things that I was going to do, you know, like for the Wave products and the Fab Filter products. So those are still in the queue to do. Um, maybe I'll put one of those out next week. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and listening. Have a great day or night, everybody. Happy shooting. Thank you. Bye.